So now let's talk about the taskbar in Windows 10. So over here at the bottom, this bar right here, as you can see, is a taskbar. So you can access your start menu from right over here. You can go to search, so you can essentially search for anything you want over here. And then you can access different apps over here as well. Let's say, for example, I want to access the internet. That is, I want to access my S browser. If I were to click over here, the S browser opens. So that's essentially how you start up an application using a taskbar. Simply click on it. You can also close it over here and close everything out. Here is the multitask pane, as you can see. So you can enable the task view just like this. Click anywhere to actually get back to desktop just like that. And over here is the Cortana. So you can talk to Cortana if you were to click here, which you're going to see in further lessons on how to do it. So you can see that there's only a limited space over here. And that is the power of the taskbar. So there's some application that you use frequently. You can actually keep it over here. So we're going to see how to do that in future lessons as well. So you can go over here and you can see that there's only two icons right here and there's this arrow. So it says show hidden icons. So if I were to click on it, you'll see other icons, which uh, the computer is um, the soft, uh, of the software, which is running. So you can actually access these as well. And network settings and everything else, the speaker settings, as you can see, the time option are all here in the taskbar. And if you were to click over here, the taskbar is where you access the notification center from. So if you want to arrange the taskbar, let's say I do not want it at the bottom. I can keep it at the side, on the right side, or even at the top. I can go over here and right click on the taskbar. So you can see that if you were to click here, it actually brings up uh, the, um, the app itself. But if I were to right click over here on the taskbar, so you can see that there are uh, taskbar options that you can play with. So you can lock all the taskbar essentially. You can go to the task manager. There's some toolbars you can work with as well and enable and disable everything else just like this. So over here, you can see that this is taskbar. So I'm going to go to taskbar settings right over here. And here you can see that there are various settings that you can work with. So right now, if I were to see it, if I were to click and drag the taskbar, so if I were to click and hold it, click and drag it onto the right, you can see that I can move it onto the right, onto the top, on the left, or at the bottom. So if I were to move it onto the right, leave it there, the taskbar stays on the uh, left. If I were to move it on the top, the taskbar actually goes to the top. I can also move it below and the taskbar stays at the bottom. So uh, in order to prevent that, to prevent the taskbar from moving accidentally, I can lock the taskbar and I cannot move it now. So if I were to click and drag it, nothing works out. You can also do this. So if you want to use more of your desktop space, you can automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. And essentially, essentially what it does is hides the taskbar for you. So you cannot see it just like that. So you actually have to uh, go around and move your mouse cursor down and it'll appear for you just like that. So let me just turn that off right over here. But usually, because usually I like the taskbar to be there uh, and I don't want to move my mouse over there. You can also use smaller taskbar buttons. So if you were to click over here, you can see that there's a lot of space saving going on right over there, as you can see. So you want lots of buttons over there, then you can use a small button taskbar. But usually I wouldn't recommend that. So because there are only a handful of number of apps that you might be using. They can also use the peak to preview desktop when you move the mouse to the so desktop button. So if I were to turn it on, if I were to move the mouse to the right, it actually shows the desktop button without having me to click on it. So you can actually turn this on and off as well. So there are other options that you can see, see as well. So you can show the badges over here on the taskbar as well. You can also change everything out according to what you want, which you're going to see in further lessons. So over here, you can see that there's the taskbar location on screen. So this is the bottom, as you can see. I can also change it to left. Essentially, what this does is what we did by dragging the taskbar, it actually did that. So I'm just going to lock, leave the lock taskbar right over there. You can also always hide the taskbar or also everything else that there are other options that we can work around as well. So you can see that if I were to do never, then you can see that it is actually showing up all of the um, 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 all of the um, uh, the names as well. Always hide the labels. It hides the labels right over here when taskbar is full. Meaning, if I have multiple apps opened up, then it'll um, change that back into icon mode. In my case, I'm just going to hide the taskbar because that I, uh, that's what I want. 
So here are other options as well. So you can start say a show taskbar on all displays. That means if you have multiple monitors, you can actually turn this on as well. And you can also turn the contacts on in the start, uh, taskbar as you can see. So you can see the contacts right over here as well. So this is how you can work around with the taskbar and see its various options just like this. So you can see it's very, very customizable just like that. So we're going to see more about taskbar in the future lessons as well. But this gives you the overview of the basic of how you can utilize the taskbar. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.